development of real time systems and also firmware development of our various projects and microprocessor microcontroller embedded device driver development these are the my career development let's start output file format for downloading of microprocessor and microcontroller so what is the output file format so it depends upon microcontrollers microprocessors we have generate number of output files let's see some of the micro some of the output files dot that is dot bin dot bin means it is the bootloader output file format for microcontrollers and micro processor dot x these dot x files hex files are output files it is mostly generated microprocessors and microcontrollers let's say pick uh, um these are the generated output file format let's say dot ldr loader file dot ldr file for permit these ldr file format some of the uh, nlog devices uh, process generated output files and also dot dot co ff files some of the microcontrollers microprocessor generate dot uh, co ff files that is common object file formats and some of the files are dot elf file formats so emulators can directly load the files that means executable and loader file format executable and linker file format these are the emulators can directly load to the uh, memory areas so let's see let's see one thing so this is the introduction about that output file format what is the output file it is a loader file that contains often simply referred to as intel based file based on compiler so it is a representation of x exa format represented that means base 16 represent these x files are used to transfer to transfer the these x files or binary files it is contains a uh, uh, exa data so these data will transferred to the second micro microcontroller memories and eb roms and flash devices for downloading of these uh, these output files we used you uh, use eb rom eb rom programmers and flash programmers and emulators these are the program downloaders and also the what is the uh, main uh, x file record so e, number of in, in that x file number of records are available so here the record meaning is each line represent one record each line starts with semicolon so that each record contains so data length and also uh, starting address of that uh, data field and also type of data field then data and checksum these are the main contains uh, available in that field so let's see this is the structure of intel x record so this is a one structure so first one is start with colon that is every record in that file output file starts with colon that colon represent it is a starting of the record then ll ll means record length how many bytes are available in that how many bytes are loaded for the record and the second one is four a's represent address start address of that that record that that data that data and so in that memory so second and third one represent tt that means field type type of the field so here the record type field is number of record type fields are there zero zero represent normal data record zero one represent the end of the file record zero two represents documentation address record zero four represent extended address record zero five represent extended linear address record so and next one is dd dd represent data field that data field actual data field in this one so what is the, i mean how many uh, data bytes in the record available depends upon ell so that length field and last one is checksum checksum represent in the scenario cc that checksum is uh, for the record checksum that record checksum is based on modulo 256 
we generate one checksum checksum so that is the one byte format so next general data record that intel x made number of data records in that file so each data record so some of the examples so take one one record one record starts with semicolon and ll remain record length here the record length is 10 so 16 bytes are available so and next one is address address here this 2462 that is the base address of that record stored and 00 is the type of the record here the general record so that's why we place 00 and next to one is the actual data so here we represent one zero in the data length field so 16 bytes of data in that record available and last one is three three checksum of that record so here that checksum we generated depends upon modulo 256 and the next one is segment address record this one is uh, uh, mainly 24 bit 20 bits uh, address 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 field so in case mostly used uh 16 uh, i mean 1 mb of data 2 mb of data 4 mb of data these type of data we represent in this segment address record so here the one example follows 0 to is the same thing length of length of the data field and address of the segment address of the segment record so this is 2462 address of the segment record here 1 2 is the segment number here the last 0 to i mean 0 to is the record type so segment record type is 0 to for the Intel X format and one two double zero is the segment number representation. EC is the checksum of that that record. So here the example of how how that address field made. So either the absolute memory address is uh, some of the address of the uh, address of the segment record and also in the data field you present one two double zero that is the segment line segment record. So segment number. This is the overall the segment address record representation. And third one is extended address record. So here the extended address record representation is 32 bit representation. So extended address record is a type here the four zero four represent record type. That means extended address record. So next to one is here the two types of uh, uh, addresses. One is a lower address and a higher address. Lower address represent general address record. Higher address represent in the date in the address in the data field we have a ad, uh, higher address higher address are available so this is the fb is the checksum of that record so that is the that one is the simple one line of record so here one example for 32 bit uh, 32 bit representation of that extended address record so first one 2462 is the normal address record second one is the extended address record is a, as a data field and total overall absolute memory address. So this is a overview of extended address record. And next one is start linear address records. These start linear address records are mainly used ARM controllers, ARM based developments. ARM based developments, it is a thumb instruction sets and also normal instruction sets are available. So let's see one example of that start, uh, linear address records for ARM. So 04 is a here the number number of data bytes and 0, 0, 0, 0 is the address field. 0, 5 is the record type. So here the linear address record. So the record type is 0, 5. So this is the represent for ARM controllers only. So next one is 4 byte linear address represent. That means linearly we increasing the data, we increasing the address that uh, that that base address accordingly that base address we store the data field. We store the data in that memory. And last one is 2A checksum. 2A is the checksum for the data record, for the record. So here, that main linear address records. So the, the linear address records X file representation is, that is based on whenever main function calling only, not for start of function calling. So this is the main thing. So start address only affects, that means, Start address, if suppose it is uh, ARM based on two instruction sets are available, a thumb instruction set, normal instruction set. If suppose normal instruction set, that that start address is the uh, based on even address only. If suppose thumb instruction set starts with odd address. This is the main thing. These linear address record 05 represent anywhere in that code. 
not only a linear address record, any address records represent anywhere in the code. So this is the end of file format. So here, 0, 1 represents the record type. That is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, that programmer, the flash programmer know G whenever 0, 1 encountered at the last record, I mean, any record, then in the data field, that means this one is the end of record. There is no more data records are there no more records are available in the next one so this is the representation of end of record so we have a number of data records are available so this is the example of intel x file so first line represent 08 8 bytes of data available 3b is the checksum so I hear the first line. Second one is one zero colon start. Next one is one zero. That means 16 bytes of data available. That record checksum is 7C. So that checksum is followed modulo 256. If uh, some of the, uh, um, some of the, uh, I mean, uh, XOR format, modulo 256 format, many formats are available. Here we follow the modulo 256 format. So, and, and another one, sixth line represent here the extended linear address, extended extended address. That means 04 in the type of record. Record type is 04. That is the extended record. It is available anywhere in the in anywhere in the uh, file. That means uh, output file. So last one is 01 is end of the file record. This is a overview of a uh, Intel Intel X file format. So let's see another uh, thing here. So here, please see that. This one is a STM32 output file. STM32 output file. This one is a 02 is the length of record. Colon starts with 02 is the length of record. So F2 is a checksum. So next to next line it is another second record. 10 starts. 10 represent means 16 bytes of data. These 16 bytes, though that record checksum is here 28. So please see that. Please observe that. This is a, a linear address record. That means every time we change, we increasing linearly that address field. So 01, 02, 03, 07, 08, every time these four represent, these four represent address field. So linearly we increase that address. So please see that. So after linearly increasing of that address, so at the end of the file, already we spoke about at, at, at anywhere in the program that linear address record are available. So now see here 0, 05. Here 0, 05 represent linear address record. This is the form or STM32 based on ARM controllers. So that's why we represent these things 0, 05. So this is the output file generated for uh, uh, ARM, ARM controllers. Last one is 0, 01. 0, 01 represents the end of the file. This is the overview session of this is the overview session of that uh, output file format in C in output file format in C development and that one loaded to memory. This is the overview thing. So if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share share to your network. So your comments are needed. Of a, for suggestions and also uh, for topics, please uh, click the please uh, uh, raise the comment session. And then only uh, I will prepare accordingly. I mean, I will prepare the video accordingly. So for next two sessions. So please subscribe my channel. Thank you, thank you all. And we will go to uh, uh, memory memory issues on next video. Thank you, thank you all.